Okay, we have um, a group of uh, sergeant uh, blocks here. Uh, they're six pin. They are keyed um, differently. There are security pins in the top as well as the bottom, which makes it uh, harder to open. This lock uh, works freely. This is the bidding on the key. It's a six pin. It is locked. This lock definitely has um, some screwed up pins in it, so it makes it a lot harder to open. I'm going to use uh, this pick. There seem to be uh, two pins in here that has to be set at the same time. Okay, we got a little bit of movement out of pin six. A little bit more out of pin three, I believe. Got a little false set out of it. Okay, we got a little bit more of a false set with pin four. A little bit of movement on pin two then. And one, I believe, give us just a little bit of click. I believe that was pin five again. It's pin two. These pins have to be set multiple times. And then there's still no guarantee that they're gonna it's gonna open that quick. Okay, that was pin three, I believe. Pin four again. Pin five. Pin six. Got a little more of a false set. Loosen the lock. See if we can tighten it down. Okay, there it is open. Pin six had to be set again along with pin five. Okay, we'll gut it now and uh, see what kind of pins we have in it. I know that uh, there's some messed up pins in this thing. When I mean messed up, I mean somebody really 
made some pins. Okay. We forgot the key, so um, let's lock it back temporarily so I can get that clip off. Get the camera down here. See if we can pop this clip off. This is a hard clip to get off. There we go. Now you'll notice that uh, there's a slit back here. You want to make sure and not line it up with the pins when you start pushing this lock out or you could have a mess. Okay, let's get this lined up just right. Alright, let's see what kind of pins we got in the bottom. I know there's security pins in the bottom also. Uh, let me move this out a little bit. Okay, we'll look at them in a minute. As soon as I get them all out. That's the core. Alright. This is uh, what's in pin number one. Kind of a serrated pin. Come back here. Alright, let's look at pin number two. Come on camera, focus. I don't know what you call that. Okay, pin three. It's another semi-serrated, uh, I mean serrated, serrated pin, a mushroom type pin or, or some kind of pin. There's kind of a hmm, weird mushroom type pin. Okay, let's see what we got here on number five. Number five is kind of a screwed up pin. Number six is kind of a uh, mushroom spool key pin. All right, let's see what we have in the uh, top now. I think they're just spools in the top. Yeah, that's a spool in number one. And a spool in um, number two. Also a spool in number three. And another spool in number four. And another spool in number five. And we had another spool in number six. Definitely those bottom key pins do make it a little harder to pick. Let's get it up closer. So that's what's uh, in this sergeant lock six pinner. Like I say, number five and number six pin had to be uh, set at the same time on the last uh, pin. When I set the uh, number six pin, number five had to be set at the same time. And um, this seemed to work just, just right because uh, you've got a... Uh, little short pin here 
and then the next one uh, is a little bit longer pin so as this pick sets this pin then it set the uh, second or the fifth pin at the same time for it to pick when I tried a uh, different type of pick uh, it would uh, open but it would take about uh, four or five times as long to uh, open the lock all right please uh, stay safe do not do anything illegal have a nice day and I'll see you later thank you very much for your time I appreciate it